kaze mwese muri uyu mwanya muri Aske Paul turi mu kwezi kwa 7 gwita ari 2024 kaze aho muri turabakiriye Welcome everyone wherever you're following us from it is July 17th 2024 Mana turagushima muri uyu mwanya uduhaye tugiye kuganira n'abana bawe God, we thank you for this moment you've blessed us with as we speak with the children. Give us your wisdom and knowledge as we share the, with them. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Dufitibazo bitaribike hano. We are going to go to Luange. 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 And it's a Luange. We are going to go can you read? He says, Shalom, Apostle and the team. Thank you for always blessing us. I have, I have two questions. If God gave you a promise of going to study abroad, what can a person do to work out the faith that the promise is such that it comes to pass? Number two, what can I do to help my friend who keeps dreaming about her mom, her mother telling her that she did not die, yet she died, and we buried her? And number three, Okay, reka dusubize lu luange reka nkwite luange kuko lunje ndabona tari ryo e mwene data luange luange let me answer back to you ikibazo cyambere iyi imana igwaye amasezerano hari cyo ukora when god gives you promise there are things to be done wavuze ngo umuntu azaja hanze n'iyo sezerano afite the promise is to go abroad nje cyo nakora cyambere no gusenga Number one, I will do is pray. And know exactly the will of God as I go abroad. Number two, I look for the passport. And number three, I move on for the visa application. Or look for the people to invite me as I look for a visa. So if you succeed and get the visa, that means God has allowed you to go. Yeah, it doesn't mean that you'll get your visa the same way. Number one, you can come as long as you have the faith that you have to go. You may get denies once or a couple times just because of that uh, it goes on with the timing of God. But the important is to no pray and also apply for the documentations. You can come as long as you have the faith that you have to go. And get yourself ready by preparing, pre-planning where you'll be staying once you get your visa, get connected with people. And you say, number two, your friend lost the mother, and the mother comes in a dream telling him that she did not die. There's two ways. There's a way that they truly were not dead. You go and bury them, but they were not really dying. You uh, think that you buried the person, but you didn't bury anything. Those usually take place with those who do human sacrifices or even sorceries. They go and take the people and uh, use them as slaves, and that's how they gain in their lives. There are many examples of those, those kind of cases where people were used as slaves. And there are even people with the experience that we have prayed for. They had same issues. So what do you do in that case? Because you cannot bring them back to life. They are there. 
but they are invisible bodies. But when the time of death comes, where God has planned them to die, that's when they will actually die. I encountered this issue one place at a time. I was preaching. A woman came. And she said, I'm tired. My father died. But he's always at the window. Telling me, my child, I did not die. In fact, this, your husband made me this. And she said, this is the and he gave her the address of a neighborhood where he will spend the whole night collecting a cement for the people who are using him. By the morning, the people have gained, they find the stock full. So and he was saying that he's tired of what he's doing. So what I did in that case, I prayed for them. The father did not come back. But it's not because the father died. The father is there. There are also other cases where this happened. Or I know in Kisangani. A young lady died. Years later. They found her in the mar on the market in Kinshasa. And this was delivered to the family. They went, the news outlets went, and these are the real things that happened. It's a story of a young lady called Vumilia. They brought up everything when she died, when she was buried, and everything. And because they to use some kind of spells or some kind of uh, tricks or their spirits, they went and bring back uh, Vumilia to life and she is there in, Ki in Kisangani. She was brought back to life. Anyway, so these are the real things and they happen. You assume the person died. But they are working, they are serving somewhere, being, they are being slaves. And they are in pain, being tortured. Because they are being slaves. And they are as those who take you, those who uh, who take you to be their slaves, they gain as you are being tortured in that way. Like Vumilia was taken by her uncle who gave her a banana to eat and because of that banana, Vumilia died. But he, she really didn't die. He was taking her to be his slave. So I have many other similar cases. After the genocide against Utsin Rwanda, there were people they referred to the UN. The UN. There were the peacekeepers in Rwanda. And one, uh, one was in, involved in a relationship with a Rwandan girl, and they would go to bar, to nightclub, to dance. And they would do other things. And one day, the one of the peacekeepers, the guy who was in, in relationship with the girl, died in an accident. Two years later, when the young lady got to Nairobi, he, he met with, with the same guy who, who died in an accident. And she lost her mind. But I prayed for her. And I told her it's possible. And that's how she got healed. And she got saved. And she's normal to her senses. So there are many examples I can share with you. But 
And uh, for the second way that I will explain to you, it's possible that she died. And hanze ukemera ko yapfuye washaka ugasubira kumva ye ugashiraho indabo bwa nyuma kamusezera ico giye ntaso ndiyongera kugaruka ukabyemera haba harimo dinayo haba harimo kubyanga imbere nico gituma nawe ahora garuka igihe cyoza ko yaterega humura sinapfuye ntabwo ariwe ni inzo ni bitekerezo byawe byinshi cyangwa se ni namaranga mutima yanze kukira another thing that may, may be happening it's we are friend because they lost their mother and that much of pain within her she is still or he is in still in denial so when it comes to a point where she sleeps she still sees her mother so what she needs to do is to accept the death of the mother and go even if it's necessary go to the site bury sites and put flowers and say the mother now I accept that you have left me you are gone and that's how healing will come in her tazongera kugaruka kiriya cyambere bisaba umuntu gusengera kugira ngo tuze tazongera kuza kukuderanja so the first what that i answered you need someone to pray for you and the mother will stop coming okay so that's okay icyakabiri uyu ni prince ngo mbwire itandukanizo ry'igicumuro n'icyaha and prince says i need uh, to know the difference between a transgression, iniqui, a transgression. Iniqui, in the scene okay igicumuro a transgression ni 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 cyaha nakwita ke karande it is a a message generational curse sin eh na navuga kandi ngo ni iniquite or i can say it's iniquity nibza ha badata bakoze are the sins of fathers bene wacu bakoze twese tukabi tukabiryozwa and we are all uh, brought up with it twese tukagira ibibazo and we all face the consequence of their of their sins kakunya wa daniel base yango mana tubabarire babarire ibyaha batso kuza bakoze ba data natwe uyu munsi turi impunzi kubera byo donc ibi ni ibyaha biba byarakozwe nabandi ariko kuko uri muri uwo muryango nawe kagira consequence iyo mufite so umu umusinzi mwese barava ngo iriya nzo ni yabasinzi kandi mutarabasinzi mukaburara mukabwirwa guko umusinzi wo mu rugo yaba mwese yabinjiye muri misere bigatuma nabana baje kwiba ngo barye kubera inzara ariko atari ingeso yo kubibisha ni igicumuriki rero so in iniquity is like when Daniel prayed they were praying for the sins their fathers their forefathers did as a result they found themselves in exile uh, in exile so when they prayed they were praying for the sins of their forefathers for instance if your father's drunk or an, an alcoholic you find their sins affecting their children even the children of their children and the children ending up being thieves not because they are uh, they have that character of being a thief no it's because what their fathers had been doing donc cyo gicumuro kikaba bakuba so that iniquity affects them tuvuge amba mundi miza cyoza vuga ngo ngo umukobwa umwe atokisha bose nuko ngo mwese mwakira icya niba mama wawe ari umusinzi cyangwa papa wawe ari umusinzi wawe ngo ah ngo ngwiri yanzu ti wakura umugeni donc mwese nta cyaha mwakoze ariko mufite igicumuro kibariho Mm -hmm. For example, one person may be a thief uh, in the referring to the whole family saying that family is a family of thieves or family of drunkard. One person defies everyone's name. Iyo mugira mu papa wiba. If you have a thief father. No kwabo no mugeni biragora. Even getting a bride in that family is very hard. They will refer to the family they are all thieves. No, the children are not thieves. But because the father is a thief. That affects the children. Nibyo rero. So eh, that's the difference. Eh, I, 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 is to violate the command. Do not do this, but do <laughs> And you want to know if the iniquity can hinder it from going to heaven. Iyo twakiriye Yesu ibi ni ibindi rero. Iyo wakiriye Yesu umutima. So when you have received Jesus in your heart. Akweza aho ibyaha nibicumura. He cleanses you from sins and in all the iniquities. Guzi cyaba gusaba. But what he needs you to do. No kugendera mu nzira yo gukiranuka. To walk in the way of righteousness. Ura mutsunaniwe. When you fell. Ukongera ukihana. You repent again. Donc ugasaba imbabazi. 
you ask for forgiveness for the blood of Jesus to cover you again igiye cyose ufite uwo mutima wihana Every time you have the repenting heart and you always draw near to God you are forgiven you go to heaven because you received Jesus and you've been cleansed by his blood so you already have the heaven but this journey it requires to be uh, to carry ourselves well because the more we tarry in sin so we are separated from him a child a parent cannot reject the child because they defy themselves but they clean them and they train them until they mature to know where they need to go in Christ. So many Christians are like little children. They are always messing up themselves and Jesus comes and washes them. So, simply because the child defied themselves or messed up doesn't mean they will kick them out of the house. So it requires us to mature up and know and differentiate from good from evil. So being in the sin and not coming out of it to live in the sin that can definitely separate you from heaven. So you cannot spend a night in mud, but you can trip in mud. So when you trip in the mud, it doesn't mean you have to dwell on leaving it. The moment you realize you come out of it and you wash yourself, so God sees that kind of heart that you don't want to dwell in God. And that's why the Bible says, when, when I fall, I get up. So children of God, you have been delivered, but you have to keep that fellowship with God, with your heart, and keep God with you. So being unjust and sin, they can stop you from going to heaven when you don't have the heart of repentance but you want to stay in sin. Her name is Fleury. Fleury said in Romans, please explain Romans chapter 9, where um, it talks about those who go to hell and those who go to heaven, but he wants to know those who are saved, what, what else do we need to know? Why did Paul write this uh, Romans? Okay. Uh, Fleury, since he was a child, he was a child. Ntacho kimbwira ho uwo muriro niri juru ariko ndavuga gusa ku gice cyakenda cy'abaroma sinzi niba koko bihuye nizo ushaka kuvuga Kiri tari kindi gice witiranyije ariko niba ari gice cy'icenda rika nkivuge Uh Fleur, you did not say exact the verse but if it is the entire chapter 9 I will try to explain to you but it's not related to your question Eh aha bivuga iki What does it mean Poro yari mavuga Paul here wrote concerning the Jews, which are the Israel, Israel and I, the Gentiles. At this time, the Israel had rejected Christ, but the Gentiles received him. So he grieves for his people. He, he, he even said that he has great sorrow and the continual grief in his heart because of his people. And he said he wished that he could, he said, I wished myself I, I could, I could wish that I myself were a 
accursed from Christ for my brethren. What did he say this? He saw Jesus and he he was reminded how much he hated him. And he was shocked. But to the Gentiles who had other gods, when they were told about Jesus, they would accept him. But the Jews, whose Jesus first is, he belongs to them, they rejected him. And this really shocked him. He said their portion is to become the sons of God yeah. and, to, and the glory, the covenant, and the law, and also the services of God. So this is what the, their portion is. To become ad- adopted sons of God, to have the glory, to have the covenant, to get the law, and the service of God. These five, it's what God has given them. But, in order to teach or to prove to other nations around them to come and, and follow God. And the shocking thing is the people that they were expecting to, pre- to go and preach to, they were easily receiving Jesus compared to the Israel, his own people who rejected Christ. And this is what shocked him. And he sorrowed and grieved. He even spoke about the forefathers of Abraham and Isaac and the promises God has been telling him. Okay. On verse 13, he said, and then 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 he said, on 12, it was said to her, The older shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob I have loved, but Esau I have hated. What it on 14, what shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? Certainly not. For he says to Moses, I will have mercy on whomever I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whomever I will I have compassion. So I wonder if this is where you were referring your question to. Mm. So when it is not of him who wills, nor of him who runs, but of God who shows mercy. And this is what for the scripture says to the Pharaoh, to the Pharaoh, for this very purpose I have raised you up, that I may show my power in you, and that my name may be declared in all the earth. Therefore, he has mercy on whomever, who, who he wills, and who whom he will he wills his uh-huh. hands. What Paul says is this: he wanted to show. He's not saying that God chooses uh, But he needed to pick a family where Jesus will come through. Because God suppo- Jesus had to be a man and be birthed. And he became Jesus. But that was God. So among the two twins, he chose one and he did not he, he hated the other the word that I, I hated Esau, 
it's not in the sense of rejecting and hating oh yeah ni, ni muri sense yo guhitamo it is in the sense of choosing iyo umuntu aguhaye ibintu bibiri when two things are given to you ngo hitamo kimwe they choose one uhitamo cyakindi ubona kikunejeje you select or you choose the the one that pleases Kindu you kakireka. and the other you let go kibivuze ko kiri ugifite urwango it doesn't mean that you hate the other gwa rururi muri rwa kimuntu that's a language human language nge nahise mwike nanga kiriye i picked or i chose this and rejected the other imagine udafite kiriya cyakabiri wakunze ukiriya wakunze now imagine if you did not have the one that you chose ikiwanze nicyo hitukunda kuko nicyo kibakiza that one that you rejected will be the you be your favorite kuko ntacyo upfa nacyo because there is no nothing between you two ariko yara mahitamo but it's the fact the sense of being nicyo bishatse kuvuga and that's the meaning of it aho niho rero yababari wishaka eh ihitamo wishaka ikora ariko byari cyane mu kurebaho Yesu azavukira kwa Yakobo ahandi kwa Yesao bikaba mu banyamahanga ari bo twebwe ba Yakobo niwe bazaza kubwiriza ubutumwa kwa Yesao he did not choose Jacob because he truly hated Esau but he was looking for the lineage of Jesus of where Jesus would be birthed and then knowing that Jacob would come and preach the family or descendants of Esau Icyo rero Paul avuga hane So what Paul said here Yesu avukiye kwa Yakobo Jesus is birth in Jacob Israel. in Israel No ni gitangaje Now the Israel iramwanze Yesu agiye hari ya kwa Yakobo kwa Esau umwemeye abari ukizwe Ibi rero ko biramurya Paul bati ni gute bene wacu Yesu ni uwacu abari bo bamumenya cyane ndetse bari nahindukira bamutubwire kandi ari uwacu bati ibi binteye agashari Now it's shocking to Paul because Jesus is and was born in Jacob's uh, family or descendants but they reject him so he turns and goes back to the family of Esau and those are the one who are preaching back to them yet he belonged to them so it did not make sense Humura rero So don't Si kibazo cyo kujya mu muriro cyangwa cyo kujya mu ijuru abantu bose imana ibakunda kimwe kandi irifuza ko bose bakizwa bajye mu ijuru It's not the issue of some going to heaven or some going to hell no God loves everyone equally and he desires everyone to go to heaven Yeah ntabwo ari kuvuga ngo yanzu yungu yazaje mu muriro yakunzu yazaje mu ijuru oya It's not saying that he hated this and they will go to hell and he loves this will go to heaven Ngo kwa ufite abana babiri It's like when you have two children. And you say this one will be a, a, a soldier. But this will be a pastor. Ugiye mu gisirikare ntumwanze, ugiye mu gipastor isi gukunze. Bose urabakunze ariko urabona icyo umuntu yakora kurushundi cyangwa se urabona ikiri mu muntu. They both have different paths to take. One being in the military doesn't mean that you hate them or you hate you love more the one who becomes a pastor no. Okay reka tujye ku kibazo kindi Next question Cyabajijwe eh Si ndazi nashizeho jana Eh uzumba bari rushire wizi na mwene data Uya ravuga ngo muraho neza ngo ngo Timoteo wa mbere kabiri rimwe ngo irya mbere yabo ya byose ndaguhugurira kwingingira abantu bose no kubasengera no kubasabira no kubashimira hanyuma aba Filipi kane gatandatu timukagira icyo mwiganyira ahubwo byo ibyo mushaka byose bibenwe n'Imana mubisabye mubyingingiye mushima ndifuza ko munsobanura uko aya magambo atandukanye kwinginga Imana gusaba Imana gushima Imana Uh, this is not name but it says uh, please uh, explain Timothy First Timothy 2:1 Therefore I exalt first of all that supplications prayers intercessions and giving of thanks be made for all men th- uh, all men and then uh, the next is in Philippians 6 Be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known to God and he wants to know the difference between supplications prayers and intercessions okay haru kwinginga haru gusaba haru gushima ibikora bitatu nibyo okay uh, supplications intercessions and thanksgiving eh irija aya majambo namwe 
All these are similar words. Ariko arimo exactement za nuance cyangwa se utuntu duto duto tutandukanya. With a slight differences. Kugira ngo mbache kuzasobanura neza nagiye muri origine ya Wikigiriki. For me to be able to explain uh, I had to go to the roots in Greeks. Ijambo kwinginga. The word supplications. Ijambo kwinginga mu kigiriki ni the esis, the esis. It's the esis in Greek. The esis no kwinging. The esis is supplication. Don't you guta kamba. Or to entreaty. To entreat his. Don't you guta kamba. To entreat. The kwingings. I beg you. The kwingings. I beg you. Koreribi. Do this for me. The kwingings. I beg you. Nyamunek. Please. Koreribi. Do this for me. E iri jambo. This uh, word. Iri jambo jo kwinginga. Harimo gusenga yego. There is a prayer. Ariko utakamba. But in petition or begging, if I may say. Donk. Donk kubgiri. Nkore ribi woka bjara. You are begging, please do this for me. Nicho bi vuze. Nuguhoza. Nugukomeza wingi ngumu. Nukugeza guhayi. So you. You, you continue to beg until it is given to you. Haririndi jambo utavuze. But, okay, kwa sabira. Jane, reba muba. Muri Timoteo, wa ambere kabiriri mge. Mocho wangereza. Awavuze mguja ambere kuingi ngila bandubo ose kwa sengera. Prayer. Prayer. Aba vuzi gusaba. Sibzo? Ok. Gusaba. Gusaba. Ubundi. Vili atando kanyino gusenga. Ok. Aho. Iwa iwa abziste gusenga. Prayer. Here they say supplications, prayers and intercession. Yego. Prayers, supplication. Intercession and giving thanks. Ni for. Nibine. Aho ni muri. New King James. No, no. Muri. First Timothy. Ya Timoteo wambere. Kuingi inga. Prayer. Guse inga. Intercessions. Ariyo ise gusawahanga habze. Ndare kamzandi keneza guse inga. And giving thanks. Intercession. No kuingi inga. Ha. Haru kuingi inga, haru gusenga, haru gusaba, no gushima. Ok. Nakore katoka gushirile mu, nti waru wakavuzaka. Muba Filipi, ba vuze gute? 4-6, mucho angreza? Says, be... Timu kagiricho mwiga nina hubwa, ibzo mushaka abzo ose. By prayer and supplications with thanksgiving. Mubzi ingi ingiye, mushim. Philippian 4.6, subiramo. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer, supplication with thanksgiving. Prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. With thanksgiving. Mubzi ingi ingiye, mushim. Okay. The second, which is prayer. Gusenga. Prayers. Supplication is also a type of prayer, but here there is... There are prayers that you made, but you are, you are asking God. You are entreat to God. Now gusenga. But now prayer, which is second. Irija ijambere tukiz kuinginga mukigiri kini the aces, the aces. The aces is supplication in Greek. Now gusenga mukigiri kiki are you prayer? Now prayer. Ba ita prozeuche. It's a prozeuche. 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 Eh, donke nu gusenga iko chano bugiri mana. Changu se ahan ho gusenger. It is prayer to God or a place of prayers. Riva mwijambo proze uguzomai. 
It comes from a word prozeuxomai. Arijo verb prozeux. It's a, a verb of prozeux. Bivugango kuexhange exchange. To exchange. Ndavuga na ukavu. I speak and you speak as well. So this type of prayer, you are speaking to someone who responds to you. So those who truly pray, when they pray, they expect to hear from God. So these are prayer where you speak toward God. You speak to God. And he, Na the aces. It's different from the aces. The aces were going to go suka takamba. Agu subiza shatse changu da shatse. Ushobara kuzu karira ngoma manga kuihori anga genda changu singemere. Ariko ingi prozeuke nukwa ngo tura ndavu gana ngo subiza ngo kuri oya yego oya yego oya. The essence is when you go to God and you just cry out to Him and you pray to Him, but when you come to Prezouk is when you go and you exchange words back and forth. Nkakumuko wa senga usanu bugiri manatari koma na dorengewe bi mezegu chana wuchari kusentu bivu na wewe changu sengire ndi nda kuyoboza muri yinzir. Na yuko vivu ngo kenda kwe mire again ibi nuhibs. When you go to pray, uh, it's when you have that moment when you tell God, this is where I need your guidance, I need your help, and God responds to you one way or the other. And that's the type of Exchange of wishes. So, um, exchange of wishes. If you don't take it, if you don't take it, you exchanging. What I'm requesting or what I wish for, so we exchange that in between of us. That is the prayer. And and the other thing is intercession. Gusabarero. Intercessions. Uh-uh. Uh, intercession. Niko gusabar, yeah. 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 Ndagirango di. Bahita. Enteuxis. It is enteuxis in Greek. Enteuxis. Muki giriki. Enteuxis. Ni icho muita petition. It's a petition. Chango is application. Nu kuingi inga. Nu gusaba. It is either supplication or uh, petitioning. This word usually is used between the heavens and, and earth. And there is the intervention of God. This requires the, the, the presence of God to be in it. And God guides you to put in you the words of his will. So, interceding. There is a, a specific word, a specific word that you are given aligned to the will of God. For instance, you have a project too, and you have a sponsors. You have a For instance, you have a project to do, but you have someone on the other side who is spying it for you, knowing exactly what you need that the sponsors have. They will tell you if when you pray this way, it is going to be granted to you. Lero enteuxis. So in Teuxis, there is a spiritual spy that tells us how to pray according to the will of God. In this case, we have our own agent. That helps us to know the will and understanding the will of God. So this is the true intercession. So this is also a type of supplication, but a, a petitioning, but it's intercessions. We call it supplications. Uh, to make a request. Oh, to make a request to God. Okay. Uh, I, 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 I,
So when we make a request to God, you have to ask or to, you have to request knowing that the person has it. If you come, if you come to request a, a certain thing, you have to know that I, I have it. Ionio enteoxis. That is enteoxis. Hakaba irindi jambo bavuze gushima. And there is also thanksgiving or giving Gushima. of thanks. Thanksgiving. Eh, ni gihumaze guhabwa cyangwa sutarahabwa ukakura ubwatsi taranahabwa. It is either before or after it has been granted to you and you Nijyo jambo mukunze gukoresha muri kiriziya. And that's the most word is used in the, in the temples. It is a Greek. Baita Eucharistia. It is called Eucharistia. Eucharistia niki. Eucharistia no is to give thanks gratitude. to be gratitude Donc, thanksgiving. Oh, thanksgiving. Eh, gratitude. Giving of thanks Donc, so, being gratitude. so you say, I am grateful. Do, and you think before you are, it is given to you. Say, so God, I thank you for you have heard what I said. And God, I thank you before I prayed, you have answered It is a prayer that you are making, but it is of Eucharistia. He took the bread and blessed it. So that is Eucharistia. He blessed okay. it. Or he so it is a word of blessing that you have, it's been given to Donke you. I, I, so that is a thanksgiving. Uh, to make a request. Uh, to make request. Nibzo abinginzi bakunze gukora donc tuvuga ngo naba intercessor. The intercessors you often do that. Iryo bayita aitema. It is called aitema. Eh majambo yose aratandukanye. All these words are different. Aitema nik. Aitema, aitema. Nibzi fuzo. Are the requests. Ikigiye uzani bzawo cyangwa bzabandi. Either you present your own or you carry others. And you hand them over. I aitema Aitema ni request is a request a petition or a petition you carry on the the request of other people and you present them that's the meaning of it I hope I, I hope I answered you but they are all in the same word of prayer Uyuniemable. Amable ne is next. Aravuga ngo ese buri gihe iyo utanze cya 10 cyangwa umuganura bisaba ko umushumba bimenya kugira ngo gusengera kwaturireho no mugisha. Kubera ko ubu hari ikora na buhanga abantu batura online. Ni ngombwa ko buri gihe uko utanze cya 10 no muganura bikiye online ugomba kubimenyesha umushumba. Utayumenyesheje hari amakosa babukoze. This is a mable said is it necessary when you give a tithe for your pastor to know in order to bless or pray blessings over you, now that we have uh, uh, means of technology, giving through technology, do you have to let them know that she did it? Oh, yeah. No. You As you do, you are blessed. You're doing great. Thank you. Gusa hari gihe biba ngombwa ko wimenyekanisha kubera rekodi byenda nkaba feeling ama tax yabo muri ibi bihugu ndimo bakayibakorera hari kubundi iyo wabikoze ni byiza gusa umuganura umushumba mukuru wagomba no kubimenya kuko akenshi umuganura uja kumushumba so you don't have to let the pastor know, but sometimes it's necessary that you let them know for the purpose of taxes, uh, for the people who are in these countries where we are, where they file taxes. But also, if it is your first fruit, it is important and necessary to let the pastor know, because most often the first fruit goes to the pastor, the senior pastor. Shalom, shalom, nitwa dona. Churuza uduchonchu. Uduchuruzwa tudakunda rimwe na rimwe harigihu mokriyaza. Nibzo, yeah, Dutandu Kanye, Yego. I was on this good. Thank you, Jan. Churuzu du choncho, 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 du 
yananiye nzakurike gusa ndatura kandi no kwitanga ndagerageza rwose sindi igisambo nuko ubushobozi ari buke ngira inama mubyeyi this is a donor she says she does uh, she sells different kind of things but sometimes the clients will come where she doesn't have what they really want um when she will take a, a, a bit of money out of it, but she say that she fails to pay her tithe, although she gives her offerings regularly and she other other contributions that are needed. But what can I do in order to be able to pay my tithe? I'm not a thief. This is what you need to do. See and know your gains or your profits. If you have a thousand and you just got it from somewhere, say, I know the, the ten, the, you say, this hundred is not mine, and record it somewhere that is not mine. And what you have it is simple just to take a pen and a piece of paper keep recording what you are gaining by the end of the day do the whole tour of how much you need to pay for tithe it's easy and God will bless you to Gilbert Matthew 16 27 28 Mariko icenda rimwe usanga Yesu yarabwiye intumwa ze ko muri aba bahagaza aha harimo batazapfa batamubonye agarutse mu bwiza bwe mudusobanurire Gilbert says Matthew 16 27 28 and also, also Mark 9 you see where God where Jesus told his disciples that among those who are standing here there are those who will not taste death until the so the, the son of man so please explain this to me what you say is right. But I gave you a reference in Acts 1.7, what Jesus meant here. Acts. Nuko amaze gutera na baramubaza bati mbese mwami iki nicyo gihe wenda kugaruriramo ubwami muri Israeli. Arabasubiza ati si byanyu kumenya iby'iminsi cyangwa iby'ibihe data yagenye nubutware bwe nubutware bwe wenyine icyakora muzahabwa imbaraga umwuka wera nabamanukira kandi muzabagaho bwo kumpamya Yerusalemu ni Yudaya yose ni Samaria no kweza kumpera yise Ico Yesu yavugaga ha yavugaga ko ubwami bwe yavugaga ha bundi ubwami bwa mbere bwajavutse nanone ubwami extension y'ubwami bwazanywe n'umwuka wera ni Yesu wagarutse mu mwuka ubwo nibwo yavugaga aba bose bigishwa bari bahagaze hari abaramubonye buzi uyu mwuka wera batangira kumuhamya ubwo nibwo bwami yavugaga hari ubundi bwami ari bwo bwami buza konsoma isi yose buka ubwami bumwe ubwo ngubwo rero nibwo ngewe nabandi nabo bapfuye bose aba turi kumwe nabwo si bwo Yesu yavugaga hari yavugaga ibyo mwuka wera Oh, Jesus was referring to the coming of the Holy Spirit when he referred to Acts 1, you can read 6 and 7. He said, the, these people who were standing by him, the disciples who were there, they would not die without seeing that new kingdom uh, or, or the coming of that new kingdom. Okay. Kwa kilumuka wari kumonsa wa Pantekote, ya raje mumuka, ya raza nyubgami. Nina witoro ya vutse, likwila kuisi yose. Donke nubgami bu ima. So the reception of the, Holy of the Holy Spirit was a new kingdom, a new form of God coming to deal with the people at that time. Kandi bo seba awara mubo. Nyure tse yuda wapfui. Beside Judah, but those who were standing there, they saw it. Desire na wara vuga ngonda shakuba za ngwese balamu, yaru wa mubu heboko. Ko balamu, balaki, ugoni chate kufuga. Ko balaki, waruvze balama liku ni balaki, ya musabze kuja kufuma wa Israeli. Harubundi bugo kubuga senga gima na butara wa Israeli. Desire says, what, what, what tribe was Balaam? Because Balak requested him to go and curse the Israel. Was there another tribe that worshipped God beside the Israel? Balaam yaru mufumu. Balaam was... Uh, a sorcerer. So people assume that or they will say that he's being used by God, referring maybe to other gods, and they will say God is using him, uh, but they will call him to come and curse the people, the Israel. So let's read together. You want, you want to know which tribe is he from? Balak. 
And where is Balak? Balak yari umwami wabamowabo. Balak was a king of the Moabites. Uh, uh, Balamu Balak. Balak was the king of Moabites. Um, yari umwami wabamowabo. Ariko Balam. Ba Balam we yari mu yari mu yari mu muri Iraq. Yari mu Mesopotamia muri Aramu. He came from Aram in Mesopotamia in Assyria. Yeah. We yari 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 wakure. So he came from afar. Reka turebe ku bara 2335. Numbers 23:5. Atuma intumwa kuri Balam mwene Bewori i Petori iri kuruze Efrate. Efrate urumva ko ari muri Iraq. Mu gihugu cy'ubwoko bwe zo kumuhamagara ati dore hariho abantu bavuye muri Egiputa bajimagije igihugu cyose barantegereje. On 5 then he sent a messenger to Balam the son of Beor at Petho which is the near river of of the land mm -hmm. of the son of his people mm -hmm. to call him saying look a people has come from Egypt see they cover the face of the earth and settling next to me Balamu mwene Beori wi Petori i Petori ni he Where is a Petho I Petori ni muri nu muji wo muri Mesopotamia Petho is one of the cities in Mesopotamia Kuruzi urwo ruzi ni Euphrates The river is the river Euphrates Iki ni gihugu cha Mesopotamia So this still is in Mesopotamia Cyangwa se cha Aram or the land of Aram ku murongo wa 7 Acumugani ahanura ati uyu ni Balamu ngo muri Aram niho Balak yankuye umwami w'Imowabo yankuye mu miso z'iburasirazuba ati ngwino umvumira ubwoko bwa Yakobo ngwino urakarira ubwoko bwa Israel 23 23 7 now Therefore, please come at once, curse the people for me, for they are too mighty for me. Perhaps I shall be able to defeat them and drive them out of the land. For I know that whom you bless is blessed, and whom you curse is cursed. You need, need 20 what? Need 22, 6. 23. 23, 6. Mm -hmm. 23, 7. 23, yeah. 7. And took up his oracle and said, Balak the king of Moab. Yeah. Balak the king of Moab has brought me from Aram. Yeah, Aram, Aram Assyria. Uh, yeah. From the mountains of the east. Mm -hmm. Come curse Jacob for me. Yeah. And come denounce Don't Israel. Balak yankuye muri Aram. Balak brought me from Aram. Aram ni yeah. Assyria, ni so, Mesopotamia. So Aram is Assyria and this is in Mesopotamia. Yarumu, yarumu fumu. He was a sorcerer. Ntabwo mu byukuri twavuga ngo ngo yari yari navuga gute. Yari umuhanuzi w'Imana. So we cannot say that he was a prophet of God. Yari umuhanuzi w'Imana uyu. He was not a prophet of God. Ahubwo yari umupfumu. But he was a sorcerer. Kandi yakunda gifaranga cyane. And he loved money. Peter wakabi wakabiri kabiri chume na gata ano. Second Peter two fifteen. Bara tinsira igoro tse bara yowa wakuri kiza tinsira ya balamu mwenye peori wakunze ibiguzi dzogo kila nirgu. They have forsaken the right way of and have gone astray, following the way of Balam, the son of Beor, who loved the wages of unrighteousness. Yam, ndumva. Tumuvuzeho uyu balamu gato. Reka tujye ku kindi kibazo. So next question. Twari turangije ice. Yes. Okay, ndizera ko ari cyo cyanyumiki. This is a last from Adele. Yeah. Okay. Eh Adeline. Adele, eh? Ni Adele. Yes. Aravuga ngo nari mfitse ikibazo mbaza giteye ubwoba. Mbega ye mbega Yesu Kristo yamye ko cyanke yo bayaravutse kera isitararemwa soma imigani umunani 2023 ugeze kuri 2025 uravye kuri 2024 aravuga nari naravutse wumva na watavutse This is Adeline he says he has a very uh, interesting question in Proverbs 8:23 all the 25 he says there is a way says Jesus was born was he born or was he old always there de, de, ka, de ka so let's read together Proverbs 8 eh imigano umunane 2022 kuri 33 kugeza nge ndageza kuri 31 ndahera kuri 2022 kugira ngo umve neza so for you to understand i will start on 22 to 30 
Ndagiragaza gusoma verisyo zombi kirundi ni kinyarwanda nawe urasoma mu cyongereza uwiteka mwitangira ry'imirimo ye yarangabiye ataragira icarema mu kirundi baravuga ngo uhoraho yaranyamanye mwitanguriro ry'inzira ziwe ataratangura na kimwe mu bikorwa vyiwe vyakera yaranyamanye iryo jambo rifate the lord possessed me at the beginning of his way before his works of old mu kinyarwanda bavuze ngo yarangabiye ngo witeke mwitangira ry'imirimo ye yarangabiye ariko mu kirundi bavuze ngo yaranyamanye the lord possessed me iri jambo mu kirundi yaranyamanye n'iryo jambo ry'ukuri ni correct kuruta ikinyarwanda the word possessed is the right word even in kirundi kuko mu gihe burayo bararivuga kana in hebrew it's called kana kofenun he kofenu he nokuvuga ngo kana nukugura cyangwa nuguhabwa to get kwakira kana is to get cyangwa to possess or to possess ngo ngo yaranyamanye yara yara donc ndu when the possession is so i am his he possessed me iri jambo ngo uwiteka cyangwa se uhoraho the lord possessed me yaranyamanye mwitangiriro ry'inzira ziwe ataratangura na kimwe mu bikorwa vyiwe vyakera nuko ngo ataratangira kurema yaranyama nari kumwe nawe urumva rero ko atarimwaho so in the beginning of his ways before his works of old he had me so he was there 23 uhereye kera kose nari imitswe uhereye mbere na mbere isi tararemwa mu kirundi baravuga ngo nashizweho uhereye kera hose ngo uhereye mbere na mbere isi tararemwa yashizweho I have been established from everlasting. Yeah. Iri jambo nashizweho. Being established. Aha baravuze ngo nari imitswe. So I was established. Icyo ge ibintu bitarabaho yari umwami, yari umutware. Before the beginning, from the beginning he was established from everlasting. Aho ni kuri 20 what? 23. 23 uh wait a little bit. Gato babarira Okay iri jambo bundi eh iri jambo established no gushirwaho being established is to be appointed yego ni reka reka mbivuge urutyo eh riva mu gibero na sahe donc ni nko ku gushirwaho ugashingwa ahantu it is it is to be established in, in hebrew it's the same meaning nasar uh, nasar nasar eh uh, have been I've, established i have been established eh uh, yego ni niskati ni, ni sorry nisakti nisakti donc ukuko de kan vuge gutya ni nko gusukwa pour out it's being poured out donc ninkuko reka mvuge umuntu amaze nko kutegura ubutaka ugashira kaburimbo hejuru it's like you have prepared the ground and then put the tarmac on the top you lay it on the top kugira ngo bibe established become so so it is established donc ibintu byose bimaze kuremwa so after everything had been created yari mishwa hejuru yabyo Jesus mu gihe burayi baravuga ngo nasutswe hejuru yabo poured out donc ni skati in hebrew it's called, it says he was poured out nun samer kof nun samer kof donc ni ni route ya nasutswe ho he was poured over poured out okay ndagira ngo urumva ko yaba ibyo biremwe byose yarahari so with all the cre- being created he Reka was there reka tujye kuri 2024 na kane wavuze rero Eh kuko wavuze kuri 2024 ngo urumva ngo ataragize gute ataravutse ngo uravye kuri 2024 aravuga nari naravutse umva nawe atavutse let us read on 24 ikuzimu fite bire kirundi hano ikuzimu hatarabaho naragaragajwe amasoka dudubiza amazi menshi ataraboneka None se ko ko ntayo mbonanga aha eh reka turebe mu kirundi okay 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 yes yes iki ni ikinyarwanda ngo ikuzimu hatarabaho naragaragajwe 
amasoka dudubiza amazi menshi ataraboneka mu kirundi ndahitoye ngo ibwina hatarabaho nari naravutse amasoko yuzuye amazi atarabaho yari yaravutse ni kumenya in english it says when there were no depths i was brought forth when there were no fountains abounding with waters iri jambo i was brought forth Nukwa ngo nari narerekanwe naragaragajwe mu kigerwanda ni wabivuga neza I was brought forth Birenze kuvuga ngo nari naravutse It's beyond just saying I was born Doruko byari bimeze ngo hisene mu gihe burayo ni hulalti 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 is in Hebrew Eh ni jambo hule donc hulalti nukwa ngo naraje ndagenda halal donc hule na hule ni nko ku ni gihe burayo hule nu kubzina naraza ncheze donc mbzine ndimo mbona ibyaremwe hule nu to dance hule is hulalti comes from the word hule which is dance nukwa ngo ibyo bimaze kuremwa so after the creation of all this narerekan i was brought forth donc yaja cheza so he came in dancing Niyo to be brought forth so that's the meaning of being brought forth ntabwo ari kuvuga ngo nari naravutse it doesn't mean that he was born birenze ibyo no it's beyond that meaning nico ge nagaragajwe ibyaremwe byose birambona kuko niwe byavuyemo it's when i was revealed and all the creation sought me because i they came from within iri jambo hul the word hul disobanura mu 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 rurimi rw'igiheburayo ndetse ni karamea in hebrew no kuvuga ngo umubiri we warachezaga wari igororaga his body wealth or was straightening out abantu bar donc ibyare mu bira w'umubona adansa acheza so and he, the creation saw him as he was dancing nka kwa kundi aka agashuru serwa kirimera the world wing world wind circles yego nawe nuko yarameze so was his body nicyo iri jambo rivuga that's the meaning of the word ntabwo rivuga cyane kuvuka uretse ko nabyo ugiye cyane mu mizi wasanga ari muri ningo nani naravutse naryo ryabamo it doesn't really mean that he that's when he was born but if you go down back to the root words you will find that he was born before all this or he was Ngabibira yicongereza easy to read the version yes jane wa isomera imeze nk'ikirundi it says i was born before 20 turi kuri 21 24 mm. bibiya yicongeza muri easy to read huh? yeah even 25 says mm -hmm. i was born before there was an ocean before the springs began to flow okay ngo nari naravutse mbere yuko osea inyanja ziba hose ibyo eh 25 i was born before the mountains and hills we set into place ngo nari naravutse mbere yuko imisozi iri jambo kuvuka so kuvuka kubyarwa oya nari impari nicyo barasaze kuvuka that means he existed before all these were formed before the oceans but he was not birthed nicyo gihaba ubwa abantu ba ibintu byamubonye agaraga but that's when people saw him or the thing saw him being brought forth zibiri bwira ngo nawe yavutse muri byo and they assume that he is one of them ngo kubwira ati bapeti mucheke nje navutse kera it to tell them you don't know you know nothing i was nabaye mbere mutaravuka i lived from all this were formed nururimi so it's a language ahubwo aha bavuga ngo ngo yaserutse aceza mu in hebrew says he appeared to them as a dancing form as he was straightening out his body in the irijambo nuguhamiriza mfete riba narivuga gutyo he was dancing with to 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 rise to rise yeah to rise and go ingingo kuzigorora it's as he was stretching out his parts nicyo iryo jambo rivuga that's the same meaning eh reka nkwereke rero eh 25 ngo imisozi miremire itarashirwaho nudusozi 
iyindi tarabaho naragaragajwe mu Kinyarwanda bakomeje bavuga neza cyane ngo naragaragajwe ariko mu Kirundi bakomeza bavuga ngo nudusozi nari naravutse iyi version na Kirundi naravutse sinayikonda na sinayigaya kuko hari hari tradition zimwe zigarukira gusa ngo nari naravutse ariko nicyo giye nari naragaragajwe anyway the Kirundi Translation and even some other version, they say he was born, but there's also a right word King Rwanda used that he was brought forth. Yam. Eh, Ngoyari Tararema is no Mubreru, no Mokungu Gui Tararem. Itararema is a chanke in Dimo, in Indi in Indi Miro, Chanke Itangri or Yumukungu Gokuis. Before the earth, before the earth and the fields were made, before the dust of this world was formed igiye yari yaringarije amajuru nari impari igiye yashingaguruga abantu rwikuzimu nari impari mu kirundi baravuga ngo igiye yashira hijuru niho narindi nigiye yari hetera hejuru yibwina uruva ko yebaye hokera ntiyavutse i was there when the when he set up the skies when he drew a circle in the ocean to make a place for the land. Mugiye yakomera ijuru hejuru no mugiye amasoko y'ikuzimu yahawe imbaraga. Mu Kirundi baravuga ngo ijuru igiye yari gumya hejuru iyo. Igiye amasoko y'ibwina yakomera. I was there when he put the clouds in the sky and made the deep springs flow. Igiye yahaye inyanjuru ibirwayo kugira ngo amazi atarenge itegeko ryayo kandi no mugiye yagaragaje imfatiro zisi mu Kirundi baravuga ngo igihe yashingira yashingira ikiyaga akarimbi kugira ngo amazi ntarenge icagezwe cyayo igihe yashiraha amatu amatanguriro yashiraho amatanguriro yisi I was there when he set the limits on the sea to make it stop where he said, I was there when he laid the foundations of the earth. Umva kuri mirongo itaturera. On 30. Icyo gihe nari kumwe nayo ndu mukozi w'umuhanga kandi nari umunezero wayo iminsi yose. Ngahora nezerewe imbere yayo. Mukirundi nezerewe imbere yayo. Mukirundi baravuga ngo icyo gihe nari kumwe nayo ndu mukozi w'umuhanga same thing kandi iminsi yose narayihimbara nama Niginagura in Bereyayo, Vana, Niginagura in Bereyayo. Then I was beside him as a master craftsman, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in his inhabited world, and my delight was with the Son of Man. Okay. Um, Kurimirong with a tunum. Eh? Birong with a tunum? Numwe nkishimira mu isi yayo yaremewe guturwamo kandi bineza neza byanje byari kubana nabantu niginagura mu isi yayo yaganutse pimbarwa nabana babantu urumva cyo ge tiyavutse yabayeho so he was not born he was there always gusa uh, hari ikindi nakongeraho Another adds to it. Nuko koko yaje yagezigi haravuk. So there was a time where he was birthed. Ichogehe niliari. And when was this? Imana imaze kure misi nijuru. After God had created the earth and heavens. Ichigihe yarahari. Jesus was here. Umana umundu. And the son of man. Amaze gukosha gucangwa gukora icyaha after they had sinned Yesu yatangiye gahunda yo kuvuka That's when the plan of birth of Jesus started Hari kera cyane And this was of a long ago Dore uko bibiliya ivuga muri Yohana 17:24 John 17:24 Data Yes 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 Yesu wampaye ndashaka ko aho ndi naho bahabana nanje ngo babone ubwiza bwanje wampaye kuko wankunze isi tararemwe uruva ko Yesu yabayeho kera cyane Father I desire that they also whom you gave me may be with me where I am that they may behold my glory which you have given me for you loved me before the foundation of the world igihe igihe isi yari tarabaho 
Before the foundation of the world, we were in Jesus Christ. Niyo mpamvu ibintu byose bimaze kuremwa ngo yaje abyina ashima kuko byavuye muri we. And that's why after the creation of everything he came forth dancing. Aba Efeso rimwe kane. Ephesians 1:4. Ngo nkuko yadutoranirije muri we isi tararemwa. Kugira ngo tubabera tutari humugayo imbere yayo. Donc isi tararemwa twari muri Yesu. Just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy without blame before him in love. So before the foundation of the world we were in Christ Jesus. Peter 1:20. First Peter 1:120. Eh ngo wamenywe ni imana kera isi tararemwa. Ngo ariko akerekanwa kumperuka yibihe kubwanyu. Uyu Kristo yabayeho kera cyane. Isi tararemwa ari kwigiye kigeze arerekanwa aha rero aravuka kwa kuvuka wavugaga nako gufite mwo erezo He indeed was ordained before the foundation of the world but he was manifested in these last times for you so you have right when you say that he was born yes he was but it wasn't until this plan was fulfilled Icyo Yesu yakoze niki So what Jesus did kuvuka kwe byagenze gute What happened for his birth Yavutse ariko mbere yo kuvuka yariho. Yes he was born but even before his birth. Doruko byagenze. And this is what happened. Abahe burayo 15 karindwe kugeza kuri karindwe. Hebrews 10:5 to 7. Ngo nico cyatumye ubwo Yesu yazaga mwisi avuga ati ibitambo n'amaturo nti wabishatse ahubwo wanyiteguriye umubiri. Urumva? Ti wishimi bitambo byoswa cyangwa bitambo byibya. Pera ko ndavuga ati dore ndaje man mu muzingo w'igitabo niko byanditswe kuri nge nzamwe no gukora ibyo ushaka donc yateguri uwo mubiri wa mubiri rero Yesu awinjiramo uko niko yavutse ariko mbere y'ibyo byose yabagaho Hebrews 10:5 Therefore when he came to the world he said sacrifice and offering you did not desire but a holy but a body you have prepared for me but in burnt offerings and sacrifice for sin you had no pleasure then i say behold i have come in the volume of the book it is written of me to do your will donc yesu so jesus he lived from the beginning he was there in the beginning he was not born and that's the one it is who is referred to the Melchizedek Melchizedek who met with Abraham Hebrews 7 Hebrews 7 verse 1 ntagira se ntagira nyina ntagira basekuruza kandi ntafite itangiriro ry'iminsi cyangwa iherezo ry'ubugingo ahubwo ashushanwa n'umwana w'Imana uhora ari umutambyi iteka ryose without father without mother without genealogy having neither beginning of days nor end of life but made like son of god and remains a priest continually donc n'umwana w'Imana he is a son of god tagira se he has no father nyina, no mother tagira tangiriro no beginning tagira here no end Nguo, of life he egal umwana w'Imana eco son of god anyway, yes. and that's jesus amen amen reka tujye kukindi cyanyuma ikibazo cyakabiri kiwe or his second question yohana 14:16 oh john 14:16 ngo none ngaha ko bavuga ngo nzobaha uwundi mwitsa azobane namwe ibihe bidashira none bisigura ko tuzogumana ibihe bidashira none ko numvishe utubwira data na Yesu na mwuka wera bazoba umwe bumva ngaho bo wabari henze cyanke murakoze cyane Yesu abagirie neza kuri iyi program <laughs> He says uh, John 14:16 it talks it talks about I will give you another Sorry. I will pray to Father and he will give you another helper that may he may abide with you forever. So now he's confused. He want to know will God send another helper yet they are one. Numwe. It is one. Hari data. There's God the Father, God the Son. Hari roho. And the Holy Spirit. And God the Holy Spirit. Aba kwari batatu. This three. Numwe. They are one. Ariko kane ni batatu batandukanye. But they are three indifferences imana data god the father yakoze mwirema 
who create who worked in the beginning imana umwana god the father akora mu icungura who worked in the redemption imana umwuka wera god the spirit akora mu kweza no kutuza kuzatujyana katugeza imbere ya data he works as he sanctifies us and carrying us until we go to heaven ariko bose numwe but they are all god, same god numwe one ibyo yesu avuga hani so what jesus said here when he came yarabatijwe he was baptized ari mu mazi in the water ijwi riva mu ijuru the voice came from heaven uyu ni umwana wanje nkuru so this is my son whom i'm pleased kamwishimira whom i am pleased woni dato avuga and that the god father who said yesu yari mu mazi jesus the son was in the water umuka wera mu manukira the holy spirit came upon him amwitura kubitugu nk'inuma landed on his shoulder as a dove urabona ko ari bari batatu so there were three inuma the dove yesu jesus and the father Yesa giye kugenda rero. When Jesus was about to depart. Aravuga ati njewe ndagiye. He said I'm leaving. Ariko nzoba undi mwitsa. But I will give you another helper. Azabane namwe. Who will be with you? Ibi bidashira. Forever. Ku murongo wa 17 ikomeza usome. On 17 if you continue to read in Kirundi. Ngo niwe mpemu ukuri. He said that's the spirit of truth. Uwo abisi badashobora kwakira kuko batamubona kandi batamuzi. Whom the world cannot receive because they either see him or know him. Mweho muramuzi kuko abana namwe kandi azoba muri mwe. But you know him for he dwells with you and will be in you. So that means the Holy Spirit is God. Ni data. The Father. Ariko batagaragara fizikema. But invisible. Ugaragara fizikema. The one who is visible is the Son. Utagaragara. The one who is invisible is the Holy Spirit. Bose numwe. They are all one. Ibintu bigucange. So do not be confused. Kandi bikuza amahoro. And be troubled. Umva uko bibiri ivuga mu Bikorinto ba kabiri. Now how the Bible says in 2 Corinthians Second Corinthians 13:14 Ngubuntu bw'umwami wacu Yesu Kristo nurukundo rw'Imana no kubana n'umwuka wera bibane namwe mwese Second Corinthians 13 and 14 The Bible says 13:14 oh, Ubuntu bw'umwami wacu Yesu Kristo The grace Christ. of the Lord Jesus Christ nurukundo rw'Imana and the love of God no kubana n'umwuka wera and the communion of the Holy Spirit namwe be with you all nukwango muri yesu tubonera mu ubuntu bw'Imana in jesus there is a grace of god mu mana tukabona mu rukundo rwayo batumye atanga yesu in god there is a love of god mu mwuka wera tukabona kubana natwe kwa buri munsi and in the spirit in the holy spirit there is a communion of all ose numwe they are all one ariko ni batatu bakora imirimo itanu but in trinity with different functions now you may say what are all this niko bimera and that's how it is <laughs> amazi the water ibashize muri frigo when you freeze it abibuye barafu it becomes a glass or ice wayashira ku muriro when you put on, on fire kumuka. they boil and they become a steam wayashira wayashira mu 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 wa muka ushira muri plastic if you put that steam in, it becomes water nokuva ngo amazi ushora gusuka So it is a, a liquid. Amazu kayanwa. You can drink it. The, you breathe the barafu kayinyunyu. And you can lick the ice. Byo se reka mbivuge gutyo. So let me say in that way. Byo se nikindu kimwe. There are still one thing. Amazi, there are water. Ni barafu. There are ice. Numuka. There are vapor. Ariko kandi. But again. There are water. Anyway. Hmm. Urakoze cyane mwese abankurikiye ku mwanya wanyu mwafashe muri muri Ask Paul. Thank you so much for your time following this ask for. Biraneza kubatumikira. I'm very pleased to serve you. May God bless you. See you again.